Hi, I am Taiwo Balogun and I want to quickly share with you how to become the king of money. Let me first of all ask you this question. Would you like to be the king of money? If your answer is yes, I would want you to wait till the end of this video because in the course of my research on the subject of money, I stumbled on a video clip that will help your life. Some of the principles shared in this video are things that I have tried over the years and I saw this video useful for me to share it on my channel. Please watch this video and implement some of the things that you will learn from this video. Stay tuned, I will be right back. So many people ask me a lot of times like, Alex, you know, I want to make money, I'm young, I'm starting out, how do I do it? And just in my own experience, what I found out, because I come from, you know, a poor background, I, I didn't have money, I grew up wanting to make money. So I always ask that question myself, like, so how do I make money? How can I make money? When I look back now and I'm in this really great financial position, I'm like, okay, how did I do that? A lot of people are addicted to that paycheck. They're so afraid to venture out on their own and not and have not have the security of that paycheck. You know, a lot of times we say, if you, got a, if you have a full-time job, keep your full-time job, start a part-time business and work it and work it and work it. Look at what you do in your spare time. And, and people go, I have no spare time. Well, yes, you do. If you broke it out, how, how much are you watching TV? How much are you on your iPhone, playing video games, doing things that really are not important? And take that time and channel it into the business that you want to create. It's a mindset it is. that is baked into you the wrong way ever since you're a kid. Yeah. You look at your parents, you look at the world, you look at this. It's very hard to unlearn that it stuff. It is. It is. And, and you know, they say like 50% of businesses fail. And I think what happens for a lot of first time business owners, they're coming out of a job. So they're coming out of an employee mindset. And I, I know this one guy, for example, in Phoenix, Arizona, and he decided he was going to start his own business. And he had been an employee all his life. So what's the first thing he does? He goes and rents a nice office space. Then he buys all the nice furniture. Then he gets a secretary. He hasn't made not one dollar. And he spends all this because he thinks that's what an entrepreneur looks like. First is go make the money first, then go rent your office. If you even need an office, start out of your home. We all started, all the entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs I know, all started out of their home. Cashflow board game was, was created on our dining room table. Right. You know, rich Dad, Poor Dad was written in our house. So I think that employee mindset, I think, and, and if you are an employee, and you know, if you are an employee, if you can get that entrepreneurial mindset even as an employee, oh my gosh, you're gonna be so much more valuable to the owner of your company because you're gonna think the way they think. You're under a spell of money won't make you happy. No, dude, you're, you're not happy now. Money buys groceries, okay? Money takes care of medical bills. I mean, this, this idea, this is the number one thing I hear from people. Well, I don't need to be rich. Dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. You do need to be rich. Poor people are selfish. People that just get by are selfish. You're selfish, because you're always talking about yourself. Listen to what the guy says. I said, man, you, you need to get rich, man. No, I, I, I don't need to get rich. That, that, dude, you're talking, you. But what about your church? What about the community? Okay, what about all the little kids you could help? Rich people can literally change the world. Poor people cannot do that, okay? Because they're too consumed with their own, their own 24 inches around them. I need to eat. Most of you have not attained material wealth because you've stayed in your comfort zone. Every family has a aunt, an uncle, a grandfather that went out and lost a family fortune, right? Uncle Harry, crazy Harry, he lost 20,000, 50,000, a million, whatever the number is. Well, that resonates in you. In your brain and then you hear another one your roommate in college he's got an uncle harry so pretty soon the only input that you have is people losing their family fortune that affects you you then live within your comfort zone you don't take risks i took a job that i hated hated it dude. i hated it for two years until i quit fighting it and i said I'm, a, I'm gonna get good at this job and then i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave a job i hate one of the best things i've ever done in my whole life was learn to get great at something you hate if you can't do the things you hate, do. I do things every single day I don't want to do. I'd like to sleep in for another hour today. There's a lot of things I don't, I don't like making sales calls. I don't, I don't like calling. I'm pitching CNBC on this thing right now. I don't, I don't like pitching people. 
You know, I, I don't like the audition process. You hang out with monkeys, your life becomes a circus. For the most part, you are hanging, chilling with monkeys. If you go to a sports bar and you sit around drinking, belching, fart with your mates, that's where you're going to be 20 years from now. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Going through my journey in life and being here right now and being able to recall backwards, I can for sure see one of the most, and this is the reason we have the life that we have now, one of the most important things that you can do for yourself is to create a vision for yourself. To who are you gonna be in five years? What does your life look like? You know, who's your partner? Who are your friends? Where do you live? Actually taking the time to think about the future in that way, it can really change your life. Because most people are just, they end up just being their circumstances. Oh, I'm here in the ghetto, or I'm here in Russia, or I'm here in this third world country, I will never get out. However, the, you can actually make, you can, there's so many stories as you know, as we all know, where people are able to create miraculous changes in their life once they really set out the vision for themselves of what they want to achieve. And I think the, the greatest leaders that we ever saw, you know, Martin Luther King or Gandhi or any of these people, or even Steve Jobs on the corporate level, what do these old people have? They had a strong vision and belief about the future that they are gonna create and manifest or are gonna be part of and create. So many of us are playing small. I'm not telling you to be even Gandhi or Steve Jobs, but just be a bigger version of yourself. You know, just think of, what, how can you make your life better? And then a reverse engineer of the steps you need to take to get there. When I started making money is when I stopped thinking about myself and I, st I started thinking, okay, how can I deliver value to this world? What can I do for other people? Because no one's gonna, like I said in that video, no one cares about you trying to make money. Right. Right? No one cares about your yeah. selfish interests. Right? Yeah, but when you're thinking, okay, how do I make money? You're thinking of yourself. You're thinking, how do I make money? But that's not a really good question to ask <laughs> because a really good question to ask is, how do I make money? Well, you make money by, uh, people will give you money if you give them some sort of value. And the way I see really money, like the currency, I see it as like the bill itself is like, it's a transfer of value. Right? So that's how I really see it. So if I deliver value to other people in some way, I will make money. And if you look at anybody who's doing well, you will see them really trying to deliver value as much as possible to their customers. Before we, we had money, after I got fired from the bank and we're just kind of unemployed, we have no money, no. But you're like, I want to be an entrepreneur. How can I get there? I want to have money, I want to have this lifestyle. I want to live the four hour work week. Tony Robbins was kind of one of the first people that was really inspirational in terms of, you know, you really can change and live a different life by itself, you know, and it's really by your mindset. And he talks about this thing about like the power I think power hour in the morning or something like that where your first hour in the morning should really be inspiring and one of those things you should do is you should go out and get active and go for a gratefulness walk. So a gratefulness walk, you can do it alone. We used to go out in the mornings and go out and just say things we're grateful for but also add in things that we didn't have that we're grateful for as well. So we would say we're really grateful that we have this really successful business, that we travel the world, that we have, we're financially successful, all that stuff, even the car we have. Those kind of activities really give, give us the mindset to still go after the things. I really call them kind of, you know, kind of mind anchors. You're just telling your mind to what to focus on and that's it. And then you then still have to take the action. It's not like the secret and things are gonna appear. Right? You're just kind of anchoring and putting a new tune into your mind and guidance kind of missile. And then you take the action and then just when you're taking the actions, you know what you need to focus on. We're always thinking a lot of times, how can we get, right? But we forget to what we actually have. And a lot of times we have a lot. And before we can get, we have to kind of just look at and be grateful for what we have. And but also being grateful for things that we don't have yet, but we're going to have in our lives. You're kind of like almost tricking your mind. Yeah. But at the same time, I think just for happiness overall, it's having an understanding. You can be the richest, 
the healthiest, whatever person in the world, but if you don't see that, and there, I'm sure you met so many people who are really successful, right? Or, you know, in maybe financially, or they may be really successful in terms of the friends that they have and everything that, but if they don't see that, they're not, if they don't have the gratitude for what they have, then it's empty and they don't have it. So that's why it's so important to practice it and kind of enable it. Okay, welcome back. Now, did you see some of the principles taught in that video? Yes, I believe you've watched the video. And I want you to know that money is the transfer of value. If you don't have anything to offer, it will be difficult for money to locate you. So if you want to make legitimate money, then learn to solve problems and give value. And money will be attracted to you. Thank you for watching. And I want you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want you to click the subscribe button and activate the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Till I come your way next time, I am Taiwo Balogo of www.taiwobalogo.com. Thank you.